What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to show you on how to make this tan joggers half invisible arms outfit just like you've seen in the thumbnail. So let's get into the outfit. Hey guys, are you looking to buy an account from Charlie Smurfing? You can get an account for your Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, and PS5. It's a simple process. Go ahead and choose the console you're on and then select the account you want. Once you select the account you want, you can then just go into the description and you can see what you are getting on that account. Once you like it, you can then just add it to cart. Once you do add your account to cart, click on view cart, and then you can use my discount code SDRAX for 5% off. Now make the payment. Once you do make the payment, you guys will get your account instantly. It's instant delivery at checkout and your email. You can also go to their review page on Trustpilot and let them know your boy SDRAX sent you and make sure to give them a five star. So I hope you guys did enjoy and let's just go ahead and get back into the video. For the first method, you will need to get the tan joggers, and to get the tan joggers, make sure you head over here to this exact clothing store, and we're going to be using this stunt race. After you get to this exact location, and if you don't see the stunt race, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to map blimp options, click on jobs, scroll down to stunt race, and if it does say hide like this, then you won't see it, so press right on the d-pad once to set it to show, and it should be right here in front of the clothing store. When the stunt race is here, put away hide jobs, back out of map blimp options, scroll up to register as a boss, and you're going to register as a CEO. When you do start an organization, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO, click on management, click on style, and on CEO style, you're going to look for the warlord outfit, which will look like this, and it gives you the tan joggers. After you've equipped the warlord outfit, you can now put away your interaction menu, and you're just going to walk into the blue stunt race circle and press right on the d-pad. You don't need to change anything in here, so after you've loaded in, you can then hit confirm settings and then launch the job on your own. Once it shows you the motorcycles, either yours or some random motorcycles, you can scroll through the motorcycles for a few seconds. After you've scrolled through the motorcycles for a few seconds, you're then just going to fully quit the job, and you should see as soon as you load back into a public or an invite only session that you're wearing the outfit that you had on before the warlord which is exactly what you want. So run inside the clothing store as fast as you can. You can either go up to the front counter or the top section right here, hit right on the D-pad, and you're just going to sit here until it kicks you out. So it could take maybe around 5 to 20 seconds. So once it does kick you out, you will be wearing the Warlord outfit. And after you are wearing the Warlord outfit, pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO, hit Retire, and now you will see that it does not disappear off your character, which is exactly what you want, and that should be a good thing. And now we're going to make the outfit in the thumbnail. Now we're going to create this outfit, and to make this outfit, make sure you are wearing the tan joggers. Then you can walk up here to the top section, go down to vest, onslaught 54, and you're going to equip the pale brown vest, onslaught 23. After you've equipped the, the pale brown vest, you can then back out of vest, go down to vest shirts, onslaught 55, and look for the white band vest shirt, onslaught 10. Once you have the vest and the vest shirt, that's all for your tops. Now you can back out and we don't need to worry about the pants since we already have the tan joggers, but walk over here to your accessories, click on gloves, onslaught seven, and you're gonna look for the black fingerless gloves, onslaught 56. Once you have the black fingerless gloves, that's all for your accessories. You can now back out, go over here to your shoes, click on sneakers, onslaught two, and buy the black plain high tops, onslaught three. When you have the black plain high tops, that's all for the shoe section, so then you can back out now we're going to take off any head accessory that our character has, so you can pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and then just take off your head accessories. When your head accessories are gone, back out of your accessories, go down to parachute if you have one, and you're going to also take off your parachute, and then your outfit will look exactly like mine. When your outfit looks exactly like mine, go up to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you can save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of edit saved outfits, scroll through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13, scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12, equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask, back out of the front counter, and we're just going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. When you do find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch, run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, or if your character runs like this and then runs back to the telescope, and as long as your character doesn't look into the telescope, you're still glitched. So pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, scroll down to your outfit, and you're going to equip the outfit we saved at the clothing store, which will look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over with your outfit, and all we're going to do is head over here to a gun store. When you're at the gun store, you can then head over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, save this outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before, but after you've saved your outfit, back up to the tops, and we're going to start up a job, so hit pause. Go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job called a titan of a job, and start up that mission. 
And as soon as you load into the mission, you will see that your arms are invisible, which is what you want, and you're still wearing the toxic mask. So go back over here to your tops once again, and just like last time, save your outfit on any slot that you want, or the slot you saved it on before, and then you can back out of your tops, pull up your phone, and just quit the job through your phone. Once you guys have made it back into a public or an invite-only session, you're just going to equip an outfit with a belt. So if you already have an outfit saved with a cop belt or a paramedic belt, you can equip that outfit right now. And if you don't, you're going to go back inside the gun store, go over here to the outfit side instead of the tops. And then you're going to go down to the Diamond Castano Heist on slot 51, scroll down to Group A Sex Gear on slot 20, and you can equip one of these outfits with this type of belt, or you can go to Maintenance on slot 18, and you can use one of these outfits with this type of belt, or for the final one, Prison Guards on slot 15, and you can use one of these outfits with this type of belt. I'd probably recommend you to use this type of belt just because I do think it looks better with the outfit once you do merge it over with the half invisible arms outfit. Now, after you do equip the belt you do want, we're gonna do the merge glitch. So I will leave a link in the description for it's a G thing. You can bookmark that job for the merge glitch, but for me, I'm gonna do the heist department merge. So I will get back to you when I have made it to my apartment. Once you make it to your apartment, you're going to go into the heist planning board room and then go up here to the heist planning board. You can choose any of the five heists you want. It doesn't matter. But for me, I'm doing the first one, which is the fleek good job. And if you're going to copy me and do the fleek good job, complete the first mission, which is called scope out then go to the second mission, which is called Kuruma and launch it up. When you have launched up the Kuruma job or any apartment heist you chose, set your heist to clothing to player saved outfits. Then you can hit confirm settings and invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. Once someone does join, just launch the mission. Now that you're here on your own outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit, which will look like this, and hit ready to play. All you guys need to do now is after you've loaded into the job is just pull up your phone and quit the job through your phone. So when you guys make it back into a public or an invite only session, you're going to find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Go ahead and get inside that car, pull up your interaction menu, register as a boss. You can register as a CEO or a motorcycle club. Pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, click on management, click on style, and on CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, then one time to the right back to none, hop out of the car, and you should see that you have your half invisible arms. They will be fully invisible, then they'll turn half invisible like this, but then your belt will also merge with the rest of your outfit. And what we're going to do now is go to the mask door so we can get the head accessories for our outfit. The first thing you're going to do before you actually go into the mask is you're going to pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to parachute, set it to on, and have it set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, go to any gun store on the map, it doesn't matter, and then go up whenever you're inside the gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then buy the black combat shoe bag. After you buy the black combat shoe bag, back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it should be set to the black combat shoe bag, just like this. Now that you're here at the mask store, you can either walk up here to the hats or the mask, hit edit saved outfits, and then you're going to save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before. Just once we equip the mask, it may take off our whole outfit, so we're just saving it just in case. But as soon as you have saved your outfit, you're going to go over here to your hats first actually, and then scroll down to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 or on slot 20 and buy the black bulletproof. After you buy the black bulletproof helmet, back out of your hats. Go over here to your masks, scroll down to headscarves on slot 16, and you're going to scroll down until you do find the brown headscarf or the brown wrapped, which will be on slot 45. As soon as you do equip the brown wrapped mask, you can then back out of the mask door, and then we're going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch and merge the helmet with the mask. After you find the telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch, run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you find the black bulletproof. Your mask will come off, but you don't need to worry. After you find the black bulletproof helmet, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask and helmet will merge together just like this. And that is pretty much it for your outfit. So I hope you guys do like this outfit. Now, if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. I think this outfit does look pretty good. Now just go to the clothing store, save it on whichever slot you want, and that will be all. So please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.